Alright, great. I'm here with Randall Pope II. Now, Randall, the, the funniest thing about you is that I heard of you before you even came here. Uh, Robbie McKenna Jameson told me um, that in the new training class, her director was in there and keep an eye out, ask for the cameraman. And I had no idea what she was talking about, but you are, are actually a director and also a writer and a producer and a storyboard artist and all kinds of things. So what, what is it that you do? Um, well, I'm trying to get a, an internet TV show off the ground called Espressos. Uh, we just finished up shooting the pilot um, last month. And uh, Robbie is a character, uh, quite, quite a character in the, in the show. <laughs> she is. Um, and it's just kind of a drama comedy about people that work in a coffee shop. Right, and then the, one of the great things when I was talking to you about this, the uh, the best way you could explain it, you said it was almost like Friends, where it has that drama and comedy aspect of it. Right. Uh, so that is definitely, for anyone that is a fan, you can definitely relate to a lot of character interactions, different locations. Uh, definitely you don't need a whole bunch of action to have a huge following. Friends went on for several, several seasons. Right. Um, so what is it like doing all that? This is in your free time that you do all this. Uh, you know... Uh Lots of people, when I say I'm the producer of a internet TV series, they probably think I'm a professional. <laughs> I have no training whatsoever. It's just really kind of a hobby that I really, I really want it to be a, a source of income, like my profession. But I would imagine you definitely have to have a passion for it, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're out of the directing aspect, which is literally uh, what we see is what you saw in your mind, or the producing, where you write down what happens in each event, the problem, the, the solution, or the dialogue, which is also a huge other part of it. Where do you think you weigh heavily towards this is where you have the most fun? Um... I think I have the most fun in the producing, as in um, the logistics of pulling it all together. Right. Because um, it's like you can see the big picture and you see it come together and it's just amazing. Because um, oftentimes it's a, a lot better than you could ever even have hoped it would be. Awesome, yeah, absolutely. Now, um, we do have a lot of acting enthusiasts out there. How does it, do you have like a set cast already locked or do you take opens for extras or for additional characters or? Uh, we have our main cast, and um, but there's definitely the opportunity to have uh, guest guest stars mm -hmm. and uh, all kinds of. I, I could probably come up with anything if somebody wanted to be in it. Absolutely. So, what do you usually film at, location-wise? Uh, we film at an actual coffee shop in Alliance, Ohio, called uh, uh, Cafe Mocha. Oh, okay. Which uh, the way I found Cafe Mocha is uh, pretty weird. Uh, the owner of Cafe Mocha created a Twitter account and just started following people in the area. So I decided to go and check it out. And it's a nice little coffee shop. Um, it's real comfy. I'd go there and do homework or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that very time, I was started, I was writing espressos. And so it kind of dawned on me. I'm like, it'd be so cool if I could shoot this TV show here. And uh, so I talked to the, the owner, and he was really open to it. He was like, I don't even want any compensation. It just sounds like a lot of fun. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really, really great to be able to shoot on location like that, especially because um, a lot of times people can be kind of particular because they're not sure what kind of content you're producing or where it may go. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's definitely a great opportunity there. Um, now, the reason why I'm so pumped, besides helping you with Expressos, is that uh, you will be able to help Incept and Incept Live specifically uh, for what we're doing. We've been constantly tossing around the idea of having like an office type theme show and having confessionals, just the same way that you see, whether you watch the English version or the British version, it's kind of the same format. Um, so having your expertise here, especially someone who's already familiar with camera work, um, I think it would be really, really great to get you involved with that and see kind of what can happen. I think it would just be a really great opportunity for all of us to kind of learn from each other. And then you can actually get paid already in advance to do what you're hoping to get paid with Expressos. Yeah. Also, that's also really exciting because um, Incept already has clients. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just another way that I can get noticed as a, as a creative professional. Absolutely. And literally, you hit everything. You are the writer, director, producer, your editor. 
Yep. Editor, storyboard artist, casting director. I mean, you choose the locations. That's you. You literally are in control of it all, and it's very, very impressive. Uh, hobby or not, it's got to be time consuming, but you seem to handle it well. Very calm, cool demeanor uh, here at work. So. Uh, definitely a pleasure to speak with you, Randall. The CME Spotlight Series. This is definitely not going to be the last time we speak with you. Um, and then, do you have a website or a Facebook page or anything we could find out more about Espressos? Uh, yeah, our, our website is espressoseries.webs.com. And uh, we're also on Facebook. Uh, I, believe, I believe the Facebook URL is facebook.com slash espressoseries. Um, but there's a link to Facebook on the website also. All right, great. And again, thank you so much for speaking here with us again, Randall. Thank you. Uh-huh.